With only three home games remaining this season, fans came out to see their NEZ Suns take on the Fort Wayne Mad Ants on Wednesday night at the Prescott Valley Event Center. Mad Ants had things working early. Jordan Lloyd to Tyler McKinney-Jones for the easy layup. Fort Wayne already up by 10 in the first five minutes of the ball game. Deja vu on the breakaway as Lloyd to McKinney-Jones for the Mad Ant easy basket. Minute left in the first quarter, Eli Millsap battles through tough pressure in the paint and picks up the score. NEZ Suns and the first quarter down by 12. NEZ Suns looking for better luck in the second. Millsap from beyond the arc for a three pointer. Later, it's Millsap again who jukes his man and goes in for the one handed slam. Not enough, how about this breakaway dunk by Derek Cook Jr.? NEZ Suns decrease the deficit to five with six minutes left before halftime. <laughs> However, the Mad Ants are keeping things steady. Marquise Teague drains this shot clock beating three-pointer. Fort Wayne holds a seven-point lead at halftime. Third quarter, Mad Ants keep firing Travis Leslie with this fadeaway jumper. Less than a minute remaining in the quarter, Tyler Hansbro pushes through Cook Jr. for the one-handed layup. Mad Ants reclaim their 12-point lead at the end of three quarters. Final 12 minutes of play, Xavier Stylus for the triple and easy deficit down to seven. Five minutes left, it's Millsap battling again for the basket. Clock down to two minutes, Millsap to who else but the X-Man, Xavier Stylus for the three pointer and easy Suns trail by five. The Mad Ants are keeping up, Lloyd powers his way for the basket. Less than a minute remaining, Josh Gray gets the easy layup, deficit down to only three. But Fort Wayne holds on for the 123-122 victory as Silas misses the three-pointer with a half second left on the game clock. I thought our guys played like crap the first three quarters. Mm -hmm. uh, Fort Wayne wanted more. Um, our guys didn't have discipline. They didn't have energy, didn't have focus. And then uh, we, we clawed our way back. You know, our, the team, we have fights, but the lack of discipline at times uh, it, 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 it bewilders me. Sense of urgency, and we have to find that earlier in the game. Uh, we can't keep doing that, or it's going to bite us uh, just like it did tonight. I, mean, I thought our guys had a great fight in them. We, we fought it to the end. A couple calls down the line, but we got to be better throughout the game. We can't give up 32 points in three quarters. We got to be better as a team. We got to be better as a unit, and I think we will. Finishing seven games are pretty strong. Northern Arizona Suns hit the road again 4-2 straight against the Rio Grande Valley Vipers before returning home next Thursday for a 6.30 p.m. matchup with the Texas Legends. At the Prescott Valley Event Center, Torrance, down on PrescottValleyEnews.com.